As the weather heats up, so does the battle to ban smoking on terraces. It's pitting anti-smoking advocates against the owners of restaurants and bars. And as Marie-Claude Cavana tells us, they're both counting on the new Liberal government to see things their way. As the weather warms up, Montreal's terraces fill up. But for some people, smokers suck all the joy out of eating out. It gets bad uh, when people uh, smoke around, and uh, I think it should be banned. And it's not just a problem for diners. Anti-smoking advocates say it exposes workers to dangerous smoke on a regular basis. When somebody's smoking in your face, you are exposed to the same level than when, uh, as when you're indoors. It's only with time that it will dissipate. They say terraces are so cramped, moving smokers away is the only way to reduce the risk. But restaurant and bar owners don't buy that argument. The fact that they want to stop people from smoking on the terraces is totally unacceptable. It doesn't make sense. I mean, it's a free air and outside. They're going too far. They say business went down when smoking was banned indoors, and things could only get worse if the ban is extended. If that table wants to smoke and they have to go outside, while they're doing that, they're going to have one drink less. But Danfoss says owners have been singing the same song since the tobacco law was reformed back in 1985. Uh, they were making outrageous claims that thousands of bars and restaurants would close down. Never happened. For some smokers, the whole thing is being blown out of proportion. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind because if it bothers people around me, I don't. I wouldn't like impose the idea of smoking around people who doesn't like to be like smelling the smoke. Smoking on terraces remains a sensitive issue. Anti-smoking lobbyists say they're not going to give up. They hope the man who instituted the restaurant ban when he was health minister, Philippe Couillard, will come through for them. Marie-Claude Cabana, CBC News, Montreal.